Ooh, that took an age sitting up. Cracky. There's just some practice of some longer play games. We've done some earlier. We didn't do too bad earlier. But it is the nighttime hour now, so this is where the specials come in. So let's keep it simple, straightforward. What's just happened? Okay, let's just develop this night as usual. They're playing so fast. <laughs> And I'm actually keeping up with them as well. This doesn't look like a happy position for us. Looks like we're all jammed in.
Okay, what we got? Mm, bishops protecting there. All jammed in. <sighs> so what we're looking at here we're not looking at a right lot really um, the rook is no longer able to attack the knight for now so I suppose we can dance a little bit but it does have a massive 2 on 1 with these knights so this is where we're trying to maybe shoo the knight away. But I think the bishop's just probably maybe not there, but I'm gonna come in, in here to defend. And then my knight really doesn't have any protection from the rook. So it's one of those painful games where I'm actually in a yes, see the bishop's moved to so that it can keep that pressure towards my knight at the end of the day. So if my bishop takes his knight, his rook is still on our knight. And he could look to put pressure on. So we're going to have to take our time, I think, a little bit. I mean, they're worried about this pawn going, but not so much because they actually started attacking our knight. Uh, so if we take the knight off the board, it's causing us problems. Rook comes down. It's on our pawn here, and the knight as well. Our rook's on his pawn. Takes rooks down. How does that look? How does that look? How does it feel? How does it feel? Rook is owning a file. We're owning a file. Which the good takes. But my knight has to move. Or my rook comes up to defend it. But it can't stay there for long because his pawn can drop down. But I suppose we can take with the knight. And then his rook takes the pawn. Ooh, but then he's got this pawn here. But our rook is defending there. Let's take this knight off the board. And see how it looks. I think we did like, was it a free calculation there? We didn't go to the maximum of four. So he has taken. We said we were going to come and bring this here. But then, oh, he could double up. But I suppose we could bring our rook here. But then he's got his white square bishop to... Ah, oh, it's not looking good now. I just realised. <laughs> oh, doubling up. Can't even take because his rook is there. Oh, he's done exactly that same move as well. Damn, damn, damn. Anything else? Well, we said we're going to go here, but there's that danger. He's just going to bring the bishop here. We try and come across. Not liking this at all. It's going to go with that situation as well, isn't it? So when the knight takes, he's got doubled rooks on there and a back rank checkmate situation. And this pawn is falling. Oh my life, and it is. Can I not improve this knight attacking the rook? Rook takes the pawn. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's see how it looks. It does not look good for us. But we played it through up to probably a two calculation here. Not gone any further because it looks too scary. Um, we're losing pieces left, right and centre with a back rank threat check checkmate. Okay, so that's going to hurt.
magic water let's see how we can kick it in we're ready to take the kick in we know what's potentially coming so it's either this or it's this again here we take he takes and then we don't really want to drop down but then he could come and face us off and that's not good for us so we'd have to make space for our king so we may as well do that before we drop down stop this knight maybe but the knight's not interested he's interested in this pawn oh it's ugly 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 he's not done that he's putting pressure onto this pawn we think or is he supporting this pawn because this pawn is going to be coming down I think he's supporting this pawn so that when the pawn pushes down and the knight takes then his rook will be able to take that's what I think he's doing we could take this but then obviously his rook can take the knight there's no magic at the top okay so that we, at least we know why I've done that so that's a good thing that's a good thing this knight here really chomping here but this bishop so maybe we're gonna have to change this knight's work ethic and just bring it here and attack this rook and it's also protecting the pawn I'm gonna bring the knight here because it's attacking a piece that's never going to be taken because this bishop's holding it and we know why the rook was there it's come down so he may still continue with the pawn push actually a piece for a piece attack type thing so if he does push we take his rook takes and then we don't actually need to leave our rook there to get taken so maybe they're not going to do that sketchy rooks don't have any place in the center of the board and look at my rooks <laughs> Uh, unless it's to your benefit it isn't to my benefit at all sketchy 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 this is another one of those games where you say how did I end up in this position I know about the basics I know the rooks like to own open files and stuff well why are my rooks stuck here <laughs> ah dear Okay, so looking at the positive side of things at least we found and um, something to attack a key space it looks like to attack and attack and a key piece to attack it looks like but is there some way of this white square bishop getting into the game like I say it's probably going to come here and attack this rook and he does have like a two on one on here but we do have a two on one protection with the knight so we could bring the rook here and own a file oh wouldn't that be fantastic this knight could come here if the bishop was here and he's attacking this pawn Mm-hmm. Tricky tricky. It's just a few days away before the um over the ball tournament. So I'm trying to get into the practice of doing the calculations and not really going over the four at all and if I touch the four then obviously I think something's kind of wrong whoa what's the rook oh because we were attacking the rook now he's attacking our piece with a potential background threat mate but our knight is whoa -ho -ho. our knight's protecting this square Do -do -do. I was thinking going there but his knights his rook's there so we could go and attack, the, attack him again. Could just go backwards and forwards. 
is there something better this could jump here but his rook can come down and take the pawn we can take his rook but then his rook can come down and that would be a back rank oh no actually the knight can go and defend so he would have lost the rook but then his pawn yeah okay too much too much swing the rook knight across attacking oh but he can just take the knight can he what am i on about <laughs> what am i on about dear me gotta be careful don't you hey tuck in there then he just takes the knight off the board if he takes that knight off the board i'm playing with it now seeing as i'm there no that's not any good chat i have to move this first down but i can't move there could attack his rook could attack his rook i mean suppose he goes and doubles up again he do some weird thing with the knight okay so if we went and attacked the rook now does his knight somehow take because he's chomping at the bit to get this with this rook so does his knight somehow take and then if we take his Knight. I don't think his rook's going to take. If his rook takes, then we're taking his rook, so that's not going to work, is it? So let's go for the simple. Say he doesn't take, but he's going to just double up the rooks. And then say we just went basic and caveman and just took his rook off the board. So that's two. Maybe he wants to keep his rook on in the file, so he takes back with the rook and is on our knight. He's on our knight. Do we bring the knight across, attacking the rook? But then he can't come down for a back ranker. He can't come here. It's got a two on one on this pawn though, hasn't it? With the yeah, so his rook would just take the pawn. Right, let's try that again. Boom, and he doubles. If he goes and doubles, we're not getting away with this, are we? Because he just takes takes his rook's not going to take because our rook is defending okay let's uh, throw this into the into the pot whoa that was quick he didn't even put any four into that knight can go and attack the bishop now and the rook but the problem we've got this is why he's moved fast you know because if we go here right this rook comes and takes this pawn there's nothing stopping the back rank here you know that's why he moved that fast oh so if his rook comes and takes the pawn oh but the knight can still go here this is the saviour isn't it this knight So we go there, if he takes the pawn then we can just take his rook off the board. And this knight is the saviour. Let's give that a shot. That's the saviour, don't forget, come on, we can just block here, surely. Oh no, what have I done? I didn't expect that. What? <laughs> I didn't expect that, now I'm scared. Uh, nah, we'll just take. 
I didn't expect that at all. Oh my gosh, that wasn't. We're on the bishop, but he still may go for this here. That's throwing everything out of whack now. We need to take time and have a look at what's just gone on. That was a quick move. I didn't think they were going to move that quick. I feel like going backwards. I need to look at evaluation afterwards. Okay. Knight across. If the bishop moves, maybe. That might be too much. I need to somber down. It's going to be attacking this pot. Mind you, the rook's defending, but it's it's not in a good position at all, this my rook. Any exchanges? I don't think so. He's got two pawns against my one pawn here. We haven't... Whoa, 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 steady on. Oh, he's done it. Dear, let's go here. God, that's lucky, isn't it? Pred that by accident. But now my knight's in a defensive role, so I think he's now going to just start jumping down here with the knight attacking this pawn like we said earlier uh, but it's going to move the bishop first obviously oh I'm back to being scared again damn 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 okay take the moment now god how am I on 8 minutes it's got a 10 second increment on this so my position's shot now, he's coming in for the kill once he's moved his bishop to somewhere safe, not there, probably better there or something. If he brings it back then I think we're um, a little bit happier, but if he keeps it in the centre we know we're in trouble for this pawn somehow. I'm not in a very good position at all. I'm a positional player. This is not good. It's not good. I have potential for attacking this pawn here, but easily defended. Poor Rook is just stuck here babysitting these. That is not clever. King, His king's got a nice flight square, so there's no point really attacking that. I'll just have to sit and wait and see what magic they're coming out with. They moved dead quick there and I feel like going backwards, back one or two, one, two, three, four, yeah. yeah, so from this movement here of us attacking their rook, then they moved dead quick with the bishop, that kind of threw everything out of whack, but then we decided to attack because we had the defence, oh it's kept the arrows, nice one. Uh, we have the defensible knight, although it's not ideal, but and then they actually took. I didn't think they were taking, I didn't put that in my mental roller deck at all. So we took back with the pawn because we're supporting the this pawn here because his knight's just going to whip that off the board. And then they do actually come down for the attack. I'm just looking to see if there was anything better, but there wasn't, and that's where we're currently at. So it's a bit of a strange one. Um, I'd give it to, I'd give it to White, just because he's got this extra pawn on the edge against our pawn here, and my rook is in the middle of the board, not really owning a file at all, and my knight is on the back, um, defending my king. Uh, it's not advanced. Now he's got potential for attacking. Like I say, this key pawn here, with movements of his knight movements of his bishop he needs to move his bishop first so probably here just for a bit of a moment um, he can get away with going here actually because his bishop is actually protecting that square so probably here and then obviously he's just going to balance that pawn and then nothing's touching that apart from our knights so he's going to have a strong power base there he'll be looking to jump up here to put three pieces on there don't even probably need to put three pieces on because I won't be able to move the pawn because the bishop's got it all trapped up so that's my concern and the, my rook won't ever get this pawn it won't ever get that because the bishop's going to jam it in but nice if we could but I don't there's no chance 
would like to do this to attack here but it, it just dropped there but then at least it hides the bishop on the back if that happens so it's yeah it's keeping the bishop on that diagonal but I don't think that that's the best because we can just jump here can't we and we're attacking the pawn as well as the bishop rooks on a dark square does he just go for a sacrifice or does he oh you know what I mean once we go here don't forget their plan all along anyway which is to bring the knight here and put pressure onto this pawn so once that bishop hits this um, pawn my king has to move out of the way and then he's got a background checkmate hasn't he so we need to make a move with this in fact we need to make a move with this pawn don't we stopping the knight from jumping so it's tempting to go here isn't it to go and attack it but that's not going to be good enough so I think we need to just push this pawn give the king a flight square I don't know how much of a help it's going to be it should be okay he might start trying to fight come down but maybe that gives us tempo to actually come and attack the pawn and attack the bishop So for that very brief moment, it f I feel a bit more confident about <laughs> the position. Um, I've tried to nail off, the oh, he's um, defending the bishop, attacking the pawn. I don't need to overthink that, I don't think. He's probably coming down to attack our, but we can take the bishop off the board if he does that. But he's defended the bishop. Don't forget he's got this rook, so his rook's probably going to go to a place where if he says, well, if this rook's moving off of that line, I'll take one of these. And I can't really move my king because I lose the knight. So this is an awful position. This is what I'm saying, it's not, not the best move bringing the knight back here with all this kicking off. He's going for a double dose attack. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Could block with the knight. I think that's probably the best thing, isn't it? Blocking with the knight. But then he just comes here and attacks this pawn. Well, my other rook's defending. I'm going to have to do that. I don't mind doubling the pawns in this situation. I don't think anyway. I imagine you know, I can come here, can't I? <gasps> Big trouble. Yeah, so we lose a pawn there, they lose a pawn here. So we take, take. They're fighting big style, aren't they? Hmm. Else is the obvious it has uh, gone for it, it's gone for it, so he's um, gonna come round the back to attack the pawn here, isn't he? Oh hurt me, what's he doing? Damn it. Oh I can never gauge what this player's thinking, can I? She's got the pawn here. can't gauge what he's thinking at all go up and attack the knight he's just he's going to obliterate me isn't he is it a pawn for a pawn or it looks he, is, he looks like he's in a better position he's going to wipe out all my pawns king is in the corner and he's got his pieces working towards there oh come on let's surely try and make something of this it's a 10 second increment so I mean you can just pull it out more. oh what shall we take with the knight what's he got 
take with the rook, take with the rook. But the rook is on this pawn as well, so I could take with the knight and then. The rook's on two pawns, so that's what that's my decision. This knight's protecting there, but just in case the knight wants to dance, it's I know he's definitely near my king. I, I don't want to come down, come across. Is there any fancy checkmate things, you know, with the knight and the rook? They're awful ones, them. this damn knight he's probably just coming for this pawn here with the rook is he defending this pawn no we can't defend this pawn but is that going to be any benefit me taking while he's there chomping up all my pawns so I think he's probably coming here with the rook because then at least he's got two pawns to take which is a shame I can't even defend that's a bit tight, isn't it? God, how tight is that? I don't want to give anything up. The obvious move is to go here and attack the pawn. But then he just defends by bringing his rook up. If he's defending, I thought he would have been attacking here. Hoping he's not a bullet specialist and racking up the 10 seconds in the pressure time. So he has come to defend the pawn and he's also attacking our pawn. So I'm going to attack his rook and defend the pawn. Surprised at that, I thought he would have gone for a double double with his rook. So then he would have had his pawn pushing down here while we're trying to push our pawn up there. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? He's attacking my knight. I could swing here defending and attacking his knight. Could be here. Yeah. Swing there attacking his knight. His rook comes back down again. It's attacking our pawn. We lose out in the tempo. Why is uh, must be something for this my knight coming here attacking the pawn twice but then he just takes me off the board rook's got a check on his king king comes here is there any magic with the knight Ooh, maybe knight takes this pawn it's a bit shabby really it's a bit shabby Let's put the check on. That's the only thing I can see. Let's go here. Probably trapped my knight now. Nowhere to go. Left in limbo. I'm trying to put pressure onto his time as well. <laughs> but I'm hoping he's not. But he, he, is, he does seem to be able to move quite fast. But I hope he can't move fast and find good position. Uh, we can come here and attack again two on one I don't think he's going to let us get away with that I think he's going to try and come for the knight somehow and maybe get an next real on our rook through the, through the knight oh dear me come on time come on come on faster faster <laughs> oh my lord Don't like my knight being there. I'm not a fan of my rook being here either, but them's the apples that we've been given. I suppose he comes down for his check now, just to say I can put a check on too. I have to stand in the corner here. It's 
knight comes here. Maybe not. I don't think he's going to go that far, is he? attacking the knight but it's also it's got some sort of mad plan as in the coming around my king area yeah what did I say it was going looking for a position that allows him to because um, if we go here then he x-rays through to our rook oh excuse me x-rays through to the rook so it looks like I'm gonna have to mess about defending my knight damn or I could attack his knight. If I come across, attack his knight, he takes, takes. Or does he have a better place for his position? An attack for an attack. Attack. Does his knight get my pawn? Am I sending him to a better place? I probably am. <coughs> but if he does... M Excuse me, if he does move, then we can take the pawn. So he wants to move to a place where he can take a pawn as well, so he'd probably move to here to attack this pawn. So if he moves, then we take then he takes. Looking good, he's looking good. Do, 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 do. He take, he takes. Oh, but he might. Well, he don't lose the pawn, does he? So then, then, rook can come here to attack. Well, on his pawn, but his rook then comes to defend. Um. else is he? Let's attack his knight. My time is running down, I don't need to be thinking that big now. Well let's see if he just simply takes takes. Cracking we're plus one you know. I didn't even know oh my god he's taken I didn't think he'd take Mind you, the plus one is a doubled pawn. It's defending his pawn. It's defending his pawn. Yeah, it's a bullet specialist, isn't he? Look at him clocking up his time. Damn! 15 minute, 10 second game. Why did I do that? so what do we do now then what do we do what do we do I've stayed here so I can potentially come backwards and forwards or come down and attack but his king is just going to come and sit right there but my rook is defended and we're defending at the minute so he may have to do a sacrifice with his rook unless of course he brings his rook round oh he's um, coming for the pawn anyway let's attack the pawn and defend like I said potentially some sort of sacrifice with his rook because his king's a little bit for ooh he's not doing that um, shall I move my king just get it over somehow and shall I move it up or across here maybe he might just move his king here so that his rook can get into some action. Let's not done that. Shall we just see if we get rid of these? Oh, maybe not. So is that fun for us or fun for them? I 
I'm not liking this not liking this we've worked hard to get to this position plus two now dear me it's, it's got to be coming down here hasn't it this would be very annoying king here probably coming down but the pawn's protecting the square so that's quite meaty for us getting quite a lot of games like these where these when we're getting to these end games and it's like the you have to put some deep thinking going on into it it's really realistic it genuinely is I'm quite impressed um, I have I've had one odd one I think today where I thought well that they may be a little bit special. Um, but to, but to, I'm just thinking of touching here, but let's see. Pawns protecting the rook. Right, let's go here. I'm sliding across. I'm already doing moves to do moves. I'm not. There's nothing definite here because he's going to come back and swing here so I'm, I'm kind of half making it look like I'm going there but I don't want my king getting harassed potentially get the king across but it's not going to happen so he's going for a draw type position we could push the pawn up but the problem we've got is the king is just going to come across here could push the king up but again really he could just simply come across here couldn't he And then we go down and then he comes down so he's looking for that spot I don't like them apples let's go here so he's going for a repetition type thing you can tell he's uh, saying okay you have to make the first move and I'm going to make a mistake probably <laughs> so I need to just oh dear me So he's going back there. You know, if I went like that, that would cause me some trouble, wouldn't it? Because he'd come here with a check. We move across. He can keep putting the checks on, but I'll take that pawn off the board. So he really probably would come down. And then attack from the back wouldn't he yeah so that's no good so I'm going to have to just do that again and maybe shift to the um, king up no what? that was not that wasn't a repetition get out of it how was that a repetition <laughs> I don't think so. We'd only done that once. <laughs> what? What are they on about? Even in the play back there, just then we only went there once. Kings down. Kings up. Rook across. Rook across. King moves. There. Come down. How is that repetition? It's supposed to be like three fold three, three times you do it, isn't it? Oh, that's a cheating system. How did that happen? Did the player press something? Nah, that ain't right. Chess.com, you need to sort out your three fold repetition thing. Unless, of course, I've missed something, I'm sure the position has to be played three times. That, that was not three times. In no way, shape. How is that one?
two. That's <laughs> what? 